Now, today we are going to talk about how to mass change a, a particular field in Vendor Master. This is something that you can do in SAP ECC as well as S4 HANA. So, there is a transaction code called XK99, or you can go through, through mass transaction also. So, I'll show XK99. And here you just need to find which field you are going to change. So you have to go into this place field. Okay, now suppose I want to change two two particular stuff. So there is a requirement that uh, the some of the terms of the vendors needs to be changed to something uh, uh, something different. So I so what I'll go uh, is I need to know the uh, the field name. So Z term is the field name for payment terms okay so i'll select this one and i'll execute okay now i'll get some vendors so the vendors are here so some of these vendors so i'll just pick some from here from this list okay so the requirement suppose is to change all this all these vendors terms okay so here i'll just populate regardless of the company code okay so here i execute and I populate here now here I'll put a payment term suppose so let me see what payment term I can put so let me just go here and I want to see which is the payment term so deselect I'll select this and turn to terms I think here is terms okay and I'll put the probably payment method and payment block these three fields we are going to change so let's see click on apply okay and here you see all these payment methods so now what we are going to do just just double click and we go into payment terms and i'll try to find a payment term here so suppose i want to put 0007 method. So 0007 so once I put it here, what I need to do is I click perform mass change. You see, all these things are changed. That doesn't really change it. Now you have to click on save. Okay. Now we are saving it. Okay. And in the meantime, I'll just go in the table and we'll see whether it really changed or not. Okay. So let's see. And probably we can. Uh, we can just put the vendor numbers here so because we are playing with those vendors only 16 vendors okay and here you see all these terms so it's spinning so it takes some time because it's updating all these things so if you can see here the save changes are happening okay and this is the s4 hana system you can do it in ecc6 also it's the same process okay this is very helpful for because there's mass update you have to do for multiple vendors so you can't do it one by one it takes forever so you can do it through here so this is very important uh, so here if you see the changes have been made now we will just go and check whether the changes have been made and here if you see these changes have been made some of these didn't get changed because probably i did populate it so it's 16 here is 16 so they say the changes have been made but yeah there's some issues there where the changes has not been made now what we are going to do is we'll update some payment method here uh, so now what we have to do is we'll go to payment method okay the same process okay we'll just select this one okay and here we'll go back we'll start from scratch again xk99 Click on fields and here we we'll put the payment method Z Wells. That's the payment method. Okay, and I'll select this line and I'll execute. Now here I'll put the vendor number and I'll check what is the payment method. What I'll do here, I'll suppose put a payment method as F for it. And I'll click on this. And here you can see all have changed. Now I'll click on save and it's saving. And this time it's faster. 
so some of this CPM method is not available some may not be changed because there is a configuration that the payment method needs to be uh, maintained for the company code 17 so if you see this is a very good thing because this also validates shows that it validates the SAP tools it's not just updating the table entries so these four ones are changed okay so we, we can see 1006 and others these are the ones that changed okay so we will see what got changed and here if you see four got changed and we get this two. so that's that that is for payment method let's do it for payment block so the next same thing we'll go to xk99 and we will select payment block okay uh, payment. and if you see payment block is here we we'll select this we'll execute we we'll put the same vendor numbers and we execute again and now here we we'll put a block so now you might say why you want to put a block lots of times you put a block because you have credit uh, credit issues with the vendor or the vendor is going through a bankruptcy or the vendor has bad names or the vendor is not shipping me good stuff or the quality is bad so but you want to make sure uh, all the transactions that you that you are going through you want to check first before it goes for um, payment so money out of the bank is out of the bank then in order to retrieve it back it would be difficult so you can put this payment block lots of time you have hold block because they haven't given the proper certification or the proper uh, paperwork so if it's uh, suppose a vendor that does support uh, provides hazardous material they need to give certification on all those things so if their certification expired then you have to put blocks and all those things so if you check there are so many blocks are there payment request invoice verification payment clearing so so we'll just put block for payment and now we'll select this and we will save it and if you see save changes it's saving uh, you will see what it changes to So let's save it. Okay, save it. So let's go to our table and you'll see this is the payment block field. We refresh everything is done. Now if you want we everything we checked is in the uh, uh, we checked everything is in the payment uh, uh, in the company code data. Let's do something for uh, company uh, purchasing group data okay so we'll go here and we'll go what is the table lfm1 okay and here we will put uh, the vendor number and we'll try to find some field which we want to change okay suppose we want to change uh, let me see uh, let me see what we can change info terms no no, we will change the ERS receipt. Suppose evaluated receipt indicator, and probably we'll put uh, some purchasing block. Okay, so let me go. We'll put. We'll try to get those field. Okay, so select this. We'll put uh, purchasing block field, and we will see uh, something like GR based IV evaluated receipt so we'll put e -L. evaluated receipt okay the evaluated receipt is something if you do the goods receipt for that particular uh, purchase order the invoice gets created automatically so we have these things so let's go to again xk99 and you populate this so suppose now I'll find um, yeah, evaluated, evaluated receipt, not this one, not this one, oh, what's, uh, so what was the field name, let me see, ERS, ERS, so this one, 
this one not this one here is ERS that's one and we will and suppose here you put a uh, purchasing block so let's do the ERS first we we'll put the vendor number and we'll execute and now I'll put this as X and we'll put mass change we'll save it and we will see when it gets updated so if you see see it's getting updated as and when and refreshing so the other screen is near to update so it's updated see it's all updated so next next up will be to do xk99 for purchasing block okay, so we put purchasing block Block. Let's see. block here is purchasing block. I'll execute and I'll put the vendor number. I think that's not the block. LFM1. No, that is not the block. It's I think LFM1. So not this one. So these are not the block. Deletion block. LFP1. Payment block. That's done. Oh, there is I think purchasing block. This is the one. Execute. And we'll put uh, the vendor number. We'll put the values now. We'll execute. I think here. I think we've selected the wrong one. Probably. So let's go here. It's not this one, it's the other block. So I think it's the let's go to the field again. Let's search with sperm. That's the field name. Sperm. And here, LFM1, yeah, this is the one. And execute. I put this vendor number. Populate. Now I'll put execute. And here, I populate this. You click on this, perform mass change, and we save it. And once we save it, you'll see some will get updated, still spinning. On the other side it spins so it's spinning 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 is this the field let me see settings just stone that's the field so it's, it's there so changes have been made we save it doesn't show the block. A strange purchasing block. Uh huh. Purchasing block. Let me go here. Why it's not showing? So let's go settings. Uh, on my choose list. Uh, purchasing block. Uh, hmm. Shows it's saved, but it's not saved. So let's go and execute. And if I go here, I just go here, we'll execute again. We'll put these numbers. And here, if you see, it's changed, but for some reason, it's not showing here. That's strange. Uh, so, purchasing block. Okay. Probably I have to go out completely. I let him know. Uh, I execute. Here is this number. And if I click on this, the purchasing block is still. 
there. So that's strange. So, well, there's some problem in the database. So this is the way you can make changes for the for the vendor master uh, mass change. It's very helpful. So stay tuned to my channel and happy SAP learning.